Hi, family and friends. How are you doing this beautiful day that God has blessed us with? We shall rejoice and be glad in it. You know, uh, before anything else, let's just have a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, and all I say at this time be acceptable in your sight. For Father, it is you, the utmost, that I aim and destined to please. Amen. So how are we doing today? We want to talk a little bit about prayer. Prayer. I like to think about it as we often speak of faith. And uh, I remember so many times my mom telling me that uh, prayer is the key and faith unlocks the door. You know, and if we believe, it can all be possible. You take on the word, and you can do all things through Christ, who will give you the strength to be victorious. I know today, we're going to talk a little bit about Daniel, and how Daniel refused to do anything contrary to what God had given him direction, and all those who believed him to do. And that's praying now. Now, Daniel was in a state where uh, he wasn't supposed to do anything other than take care of the king's business and not pray to any other god. But I tell you what, uh, Daniel did what we as Christians must stand up for. Believe in the prayers that we pray. Believe in the sovereign God, the omnipotent one who knows everything. And if we step out on faith in that, we will be victorious. As Daniel did. No, I can't do this. No, I can't do this. And I want you to know the enemy is always scheming to trap you. But you know, God knows all things. As we said, the omnipotent God. He knows who your enemies are. But if you say hallelujah anyhow and keep on praying, he's on your side. Not when you think they should be put in order, but when God says it's done, it's done. Now you have uh, the enemies of Daniel making a decree. No one can pray to any other God except the idols that the king has set up for him. And there was those, the spies, who would go out because they're jealous. The same way people about you will see you doing good and they will make schemes and plans to try to bring you down. You see, some people can't stand to see someone victorious. They're not asking for much. But just like Daniel, raising him up in the household, putting him in charge of this. If a lot of times they think you're getting too close to the leadership. Maybe he's going to be getting too many favors. Maybe you are going to be getting that promotion rather than somebody else. And you're not even trying to put in brownie points. And all of a sudden, the promotion is yours. You just keep on believing. Remember, that prayer is the key. And you got to have the faith to believe those prayers are being connected to our omnipotent God who sees and knows all. So the schemers of Daniel's enemies now, they came on behind his back. And this decree was so stated where uh, anyone praying to any other idol, God, whatever, hey, there was a stiff penalty. There was a stiff penalty, a stiff penalty. But you know, Daniel prayed regardless. Daniel prays was continually. It wasn't sometime. It's an ongoing thing 
to true believer, believers. And it all turns out that Daniel is thrown in the lion's den. But he kept on praying. He kept on praying. And you know, the beautiful thing about that is, Daniel wasn't hating his enemies. He was just loving his God. And when Daniel was victorious and came out of that lion's den, the king knew it had to be a God above any idol or any God that he was proclaiming. The lion's den. And you know, sometimes, friends, we have our own little lion's den that we get caught up in whether it's on your job, sometimes it's even family members. But we have to use that old saying sometimes, I don't care what comes my way, I'm going to look up and I'm going to say, hallelujah anyhow. Because we serve a God that's not going to let any harm come to you as long as you're in his good grace. We have to know that our God that we serve is stronger than any idol or any other God they try to put before us. But we must step out on that faith and believe that the prayer and the prayers we send up and we're looking up, we must believe those prayers are getting through. And sometimes when they're getting through, things will happen to you. Say, how did that happen? Didn't you pray for it? And it turns out a lot of times when you are successful, your enemies too shall meet their due with God. And a lot of times, you know, we say, oh, you know, I just could, I could just, I could. Then, then he did not come out of that line then. He said, see, I was victorious. I'm going to do this. And my God's going to do this to you. No. God will handle it. He will take care of it for you. Sin not. He will handle it in a way where it won't come back on you. You can wash your hands with it. If you put your hands in the hand of the man who did all the things that everyone thought was the impossible. So I want you to just keep that in mind. Being victorious is communicating with God, ever increasing your prayer life, that you can have that communication with God and it can come to you, the authority to speak things into existence that never was as though they were. And God be with you. Now, we thank God for being with you today. I hope someone out there can just place themselves in the victorious side of Daniel and know that your enemies cannot devour you. If God is for you, who can be against you? And now I just want to let you know that if you would like to uh, donate you can go to the victoryexperience.com or you can call the number 302-324-5400. And to join in on the broadcast in the U.S., you can call 302-561-6767. And do me a favor. If you feel the word or any came to you today, share this broadcast with a friend. Because we all have enemies out there, but our God is stronger than any enemy that can come at us. God bless you all.